Ah, yeah, this is a direct message to Laurie. Laurie, you answered me for ages. Love, it's Lisa. Right. We need to talk about the need to directly challenge the threat of fascism in the UK and what we're going to have to do and what we've already done. Now, the last time we met, you were still part of a media culture who were trying to figure out how to capitalise on, on austerity by reproducing your own class identity to prevent discussion of consensus on austerity. That consensus that we needed to discuss because it was the neoliberal consensus, it was dying, it had rolled back equality for women and left us without a child protection system. And you decided that all those vulnerable people didn't matter and that 70 years of women's rights didn't matter because you and your friends were going to reproduce your own class identity while screaming left. And eventually, you unleashed so much abuse and intimidation to do that that you've crippled our parliamentary democracy. It turns out we, our trade unions work for you and your mates and not those people and those service users. And then you and your mates came up with the word turf so that any woman discussing the systems impacted by austerity could be abused and threatened. And if you check Kathleen Stock's Twitter feed, that's the reaction of academia to, to the word turf being completely devalued. Laurie, you have just been introduced to feminism for the first time in your narcissistic life and that's what happens when women stand up together. We should have done that in 2010 but your friends went out of the way went out of their way. Now, you've done us a favour. You've demonstrated how elite social closure linked media, academic and political institutions. You've shown us the purpose of an elite social closure in sealing in the stupid. You've shown us that if that class identity is allowed to re-emerge that your class will use physical intimidation and abuse. But because you've spent eight years preventing us discussing this, we don't have solutions to our welfare problems. We have local authorities that are about to fucking collapse one by one with some of the most vulnerable people you, well, that I can imagine because you can't because your narcissism won't let you in them. And we're going through a period of very deep instability and the country needs stability desperately so we can address those institutions, which means tackling you and your mates. You and your mates are a direct risk of, fa of fascism because the combination of the reproduction of your class identity with the power that you expect to exercise and the way you respond to people saying, actually, don't do that, it's harmful, that's the nub of fascism. You and your friends are the threat of fascism in this country. And the way that we're going to do to deal with fascism is we've moved right past you. Women have stood up and demanded recognition of those systems that you have spent eight years preventing discussion of. That's done. You and your friends have undone the parasitic dynamic that existed between us and the left by behaving abusively. You're rejected. You're rejected in every single way. Your publications are rejected. Your political parties are rejected. You personally are rejected. And as for your version of feminism, where brutalised women have to be locked in with rapists, so that you can feel marginalised. Laurie, get a fucking grip. That's over. Women, British women have just killed the worst with the word turf. You are the last generation of neoliberal media class and we are very grateful for you demonstrating with your narcissism how it reproduced itself. But that is over and not possible in a digital environment. Your behaviour in the last eight years is disgusting. Um, you told me that anybody criticising you was criticising feminism. No, sweetheart, you're a narcissistic misogynist. And if you want to vent yourself low, then do what Liz Jones and go get, go get a column in the mail to do just that. But stop calling it feminism, sweetheart, because it just isn't.